Hi, I'm Pam Curitan, Registered Dietitian at the University of Maryland Center for Celiac Research. Today, in partnership with General Mills, I'm talking about how to eat gluten-free healthfully. And now I'll discuss how to prepare and store gluten-free foods at home. After returning home from the grocery store, after carefully selecting safe, gluten-free foods, it's important to keep them safe at home. Cross-contamination can occur when gluten-containing ingredients combine with gluten-free foods. To avoid contaminating gluten-free foods, try these steps. Find a separate area in the kitchen to store gluten-free products. If the person needing a gluten-free diet is a child, it is also helpful to use stickers or put their name on the gluten-free items so they can help themselves to safe gluten-free snacks or meals when mom and dad are not around. Avoid double dipping, which is putting a knife in a condiment, then spreading that condiment on a gluten-containing product then putting the knife back into the condiment, dragging those crumbs along with it. To avoid the situation, purchase separate condiments or use squeeze bottles so no knife is needed. Purchase a separate toaster as the family toaster is filled with gluten-containing crumbs that can contaminate gluten-free products. A toaster oven can be used if it is clean between uses and gluten-free product is placed on a clean foil or tray. Clean countertops carefully after preparing gluten-containing foods so the leftover crumbs do not get into gluten-free items. If possible, prepare the gluten-free food first. Carefully and thoroughly wash pots, pans, cooking and serving utensils and dishes after each use. With the availability of great tasting gluten-free foods today, everyone in the family can enjoy the same great tasting food, so there really is less worry about cross-contamination.